track position was given up by the triple eight, but they're only 10 or a dozen cars back from the leader, and they've got brand new Pirelli rubber. Let's see if the safety car lights go off as they're halfway down the Conrod straight. The problem with that is they've got yes, they Andy, have. Andy Suchek in the Bentley to get through as well. So they're in the equation. Correct. Just in the back of this queue here. And what about Alex Imperatore in the Nissan? Weaving! Who's still weaving. weaving. Oh, that's an absolute nightmare for oh, the well. number 18 car. Imperatore's going to take himself out of it. Realising that it was too late. He's oh, still carrying on. No, he's going to get pinged for that. The safety car lights were well out. And he's not the first person to fall foul of it. Jake Dennis has got to get this restart perfectly timed and executed. Big deep breath, everybody. Pull down on the belts. Focus forward. Watch out for the Bentley coming through. No new tyres for Suchek, but a very fired up driver. What about Shane van Gisbergen as we go three wide across the line? The 760 very sportingly pulls out of the way and takes no part in what's going on. 62, Jake Dennis restarts, and it is a perfect restart from the triple nine in second place, down the 912. That's the Porsche of Matt Campbell. Chas Mostet just has to deal with a bit of traffic. He's through that now as well. Imperatore's going to be taken out of this for weaving, coming back to the green flag. To, well, the three of the best young stars in GT racing.